Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from IsraelAutomation.com and welcome to another video of our X unit with Selenium video series. And in this video, we'll be talking about Fluent Assertion. So Fluent Assertion has nothing to do with X unit. It is completely a different library, but we are going to be using Fluent Assertions in this particular series just to demonstrate how we can actually make it in an efficient way and use it in an efficient way so for example in our last video we saw uh, how we could able to do a no such element exception using an assert dot contains this is not quite right why can't we just use a fluent assertion for that matter so for example if we go to the manage nuget package and if you search for what is called as fluent assertions there is a new library available over here. Let's try to install this. This is fully .NET Core compatible, which means it's .NET 6 compatible because both are of .NET 2.0 standard. So I'm going to install them. And once I go back over here, uh, you can see that there is something like assert dot uh, contains blah, blah, blah. So instead of writing in this fashion, we could write in a better way. So what is that better way that we're talking about? We could write something like exception dot message dot should. And you can see that this should is actually going to be coming from the using fluent assertions. And then there is something called as B or contain method like that. So I'm going to use the contain um, contain this no element, uh, something like that. So we can just put this guy over here. Uh, that's it. So let's try to remove this assertion. So this is going to be more like a readable fashion uh, than what we have at the moment like that. So you can see that this is quite interesting. So uh, at this particular uh, piece of test that we have written, it is not making a lot of sense, but we could able to modify the other test and you will see that it is even more better uh, fashion. You can use it. So for example, if we just go over here in any other test, maybe like this. So we can just go over here on this particular test and we could probably do, well, let's say I'm going to get all the uh, anchor link on the particular page. So uh, anchor uh, is equal to uh, probably web driver fixture dot chrome driver uh, dot find element by find elements uh, by attribute or tag name. Uh, and then I'm going to say A, which is going to be giving us uh, the anchor. Uh, and over here, we're going to do an assertions on the collections. So I'm going to do an anchor dot should. You can see that it brings up us have count. <laughs> you can see that it brings us like this, like um, like a method for extending like half count should have count like that or be equal to and be subset of contains equivalent of contains in order uh, and contains with single something like that so within the collection we can say many things uh, to be coming and we can also see like uh, have count and have count greater than or equal to or have count greater than uh, one or something like that so uh, we could probably do this like dot have count greater than probably two why not i'm gonna save this and let's try running this test so this test because this particular page is going to have a lot of uh, hyperlinks it's definitely going to be uh, greater than two so the test is going to eventually pass so if we are expecting it to be uh, greater than probably 30 i don't expect my page is going to have like 30 uh, hyperlinks there so the test is eventually going to fail so this is another a good tool to be used in combo with the x unit uh, because the a way that we can use the fluent assertion is awesome and it it works pretty well uh, so yes this is this is what is going to be the fluent assertions i have not really covered a lot of fluent assertion library because within this fluent assertions you can see there is something called as fluent assertions dot common and if you just put dot you can see there is something called as collections equivalency event uh, formatting numeric reflections types xml i mean there are so many things we can keep talking about that uh, but i don't really want to cover up in this particular series we can probably keep extending this series to have fluent assertions as well but not now we'll talk about fluent assertion later in this series or maybe in another series but this is about the fluent assertion now next video we'll talk about the auto fixture library 